Dr. Ntia Mwameza joins the Complete Woman crew out there to sample people's views and knowledge on hepatitis B. Uh, well, let me ask you, what you know, a question do you have? Is there anything that bothers your mind concerning hepatitis B? Is there anything that you want to ask or you want to know? Um, okay, I want to find out. Um, I, I know hepatitis um, has symptoms that can be associated to other kind of diseases. But is there a, pe um, a peculiar one that when you see, you know that you are positive? You are positive. It, it, it doesn't really relate to one particular, for example, if one has fever, headache, joint pains and the rest. Um, no one would actually point that I have this serious infection or that infection. People would just treat malaria and take some, you know, um, you know painkillers and other things and just move around. So this is not something that will let a person or alarm a person to go and seek medical attention. But most of the times, when people wait till they have clear signs and symptoms of liver disease, that is the stage where many of the people have gotten to a point where health becomes limited. If you wait till the liver is inflamed, or you become jaundiced, the eye becomes yellowish, or you wait till you have chronic liver disease, or you wait till you have liver cancer, you wait till you have cirrhosis of the liver and other problems of the liver. Well, there is support and help out there. But at that point, you know, uh, doctors may be able to support, but not as much as if you were detected earlier. Because, you know, in most of these, you know, um, diseases or almost every infection or disease the key word is early detection if you detect it early you were able to gain much support so um I, I really like your question that how would you know that you are positive for hepatitis b one may not know the time you may know may be too late for any remedy or support that is why we are encouraging the entire nation that it's time for people to get themselves screened and get themselves vaccinated and those who are positive you don't have to hit your head on the rock and heaven will not fall on you. There is much, much, much help and support for you. Okay, my dear, you know, is there any question you would like to ask? I want or... to know how fast it kills, if it kills faster than eight. You want to know how fast it kills? Yeah. Uh, you don't want to know how, 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 how long you survive? Okay, you see, um, hepatitis B, I want this to go on records. That pe many people are not dying out of hepatitis B. You know, uh, malaria kills, typhoid kills, diarrhea kills, hypertension kills, diabetes, every disease can kill. But, you know, hepatitis B too can kill. People die out of, you know, complications of hepatitis B infection. Some people get cirrhosis of the liver or, and some get, you know, liver cancer and other chronic liver diseases. And, um, you know, but the truth is that it's not everyone. Are you listening to me? It's not everyone who test positive, who end up having all these complications. It's just, you know, a, a minimal amount or a minimal number of people who end up with the complications of the disease. So getting hepatitis B, uh, testing positive doesn't mean that one is bound to die. You know, when you read the books and uh, you go on the net, you find out that, you know, um, when one gets con uh, when one contracts hepatitis B and stuff, it gives some lifespan or number of years a person can survive. But it is focusing or talking much more about the people who have the complications of the disease. Dr. Ntia Mwameza is the seasoned women's health advocate in Ghana whose passion is to see women of all classes liberated from health illiteracy. This passion has been the driving force behind the Complete Women Camp, which has brought happiness and joy to millions of women and their partners in Ghana and those in the diaspora. Over the past month, Dr. Ntia Mwameza has been discussing the need to break the myth or demystify hepatitis B. CPF Women's Lab, you will sweat her kind of woo. I say, Oh, baby, I'm white, and I say, Oh, dear, poor, a how no. Brat, near moi. Oh, bear my one so. 
John so ya e wo so ana so ni obe shia wo mu ha obebre no awu na ya opena ana se wo nu fo mu ha obebre e no so wo ba cpa women's lab ha ye wo emwa e de ma se what hepatitis b ya re no ka ya re mo ana etima brebu mu kokram na e fe nso no e se brebu no kra no brasi pia women's lab ha nyenye umoje mu hwehwe mu hwe se wo bi ana se wo ni bi se wo ye negative ana se wo ye positive ni ama wo akwankyere CPF Women's Lab, you are new Achimota, Kingsby, Bra, if you say, what poor Moody, and the Ufa. I've spoken on what hepatitis is about, that when we talk about hepatitis, you know, or hepatitis is the inflammatory liver disease. It's an inflammation of the liver. And the hepatitis B is just the name of the hepatitis B virus. Um, when I've spoken on some of the things that, you know, one needs to be very careful with i uh, talk on the fact that you know alcohol can cause a problem give you know hepatitis or you know can give a liver disease i uh, talk on the fact that some medication and other things and the virus hepatitis we have hepatitis b hepatitis c and other hepatitis virus which can all pose a problem to the liver but i'm highlighting more on hepatitis b but you see for the public to understand this infection very well uh, you have to really know much about or a bit more about the liver because when the virus gets into the blood the organ that it affects you know mostly is the liver and you know but what we want everyone to be aware of is this that when the virus gets into the blood it does not mean that getting hepatitis b infection you know it's equal to having a liver disease or liver cancer you that there are about three categories of people there are people who have been infected and the virus is in their blood but the virus is not in any serious activity to destroy their liver or to destroy their body and there are some people who have been infected and the virus is in a very you know a um, serious activity or in a wild activity processing itself to destroy the liver and there are some people who have had the infection and their liver is destroyed but there are a lot of people who have had the infection but have no problem with their liver and there are so many people that the virus may never harm but for a better understanding one should appreciate what the liver is about and i made mention that your liver is an important organ in the body and it requires your support you know the liver is supposed to take care of you but you are supposed to take good care of it so that it can take good care of you so it's more, much more of a symbiotic relationship you know give and take you support it and it also supports you so they make an say now Medicine <laughs> And so no, we have a born who soon soon saw. On said that any baby potty, ah, we have a jar. In two months, we have money. A jar in the cream one. On said any baby, ah, no, it's say, um, or bother me say, bro, no. Ana yo, in Kofuni be a horse soon. I'm one of them. 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 And you will be a horse so now. Over here, no, not brebo, no, 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 who can be affected or who cannot be affected because everyone who of course is positive is you know the virus is a potential threat but for you to understand it better as i bet you see you know you can say what's in the bonus and so on 
ase ye pese wo ti brebo no se ka se brebo a wo ti brebo ase se eja am se brebo de obi e hu brebo pen obi aja wo kuma kokko ana wo kum dwan wo kuma bo obi e wo hu brebo ba ye kan nipa brebo na se brebo no no hia o mo a se de ono so so betumi abo a wo enti wonim se eja brebo no ye be bia ade e som bo na wo se nima we na michi michi we michi we michi we a de o chi no o van ko ye no e bi se wo de de brebo chi e ko ye na ono so de wo chi no de be ye wo A complete woman or GTV, a doctor in Tiamwa program. A fine meter tipa na nan say, I have no account about hepatitis B. But me should be a chain tea me shut down who need super papa. Now me shall pass with your money tabaha. No more but try the other day. I will go on come on. See, oh, yes, hepatitis B. No, a kumpa and pussy HIV. Ya kika kika ye hu na ni so ntimi mum de nka me pesta doctor or be church mu kakra e na ye se ne vaccines nso ne ade ntin ka ye hu na ni so a na time e wo se ye tumi kwa for vaccine nso anka e be boa ye eh you call doctor ti amwa program ne e ku dan ni ni kwa na ka shi ne ke ma de fu ko hela ne aka ayue he ne ke program ne ni di appetite bi ne ni ka ela na ko bo here to ba fete ndo ba na ka shi ko yo ye no suma ka ma bi doctor ti amwake ni ka ela na ka ko bo ye to ba fete ndo ba na ka ye ko yo he i haven't been a frequent viewer of doctor's program though but i hear a lot about hepatitis b i want to know from doctor what the likelihood of musicians in contracting this hepatitis b virus uh, I hear it's mostly from saliva and...